So I'm at the gas station getting gas, uh, a little petrol for petrol, petrol for the automobile, and uh, I got a guy let me in in the uh, in the lane. He's allowing me to get in. Big fan of the allower in the laner. Uh, I'm standing next to a guy. Yeah, he's getting gas in his car as well. Black guy, um, and he's got a cool little car. So I'm asking him a couple of questions, and we strike up a conversation. And um, turns out, Nor was his name. Uh, 72 years old. This dude was an incredibly good-looking, healthy dude for 72. If I look that good at 72, holy crap. I mean, I'm doing something right, right? Because this guy, my dude, you're not 72. Don't lie to me. He's like, no, I'm 72. He brings up politics. And he's a conservative black man. And it was interesting to get his insight and talk. And, and I think the point I'm making, I know I've, I've said this before, right? But when you engage in these discussions with people that are volatile discussions, don't ask me why I'm willing to have a volatile discussion at a gas station. Seems like a, uh, a highly volatile place to have one. But uh, nonetheless, having a volatile discussion, not, we're not yelling back and forth, we're agreeing. Um, and, and, and my comment to him was, because he's like, hey, 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 I don't usually like talk politics, but you seem like a pretty open-minded guy. I'm like, I don't know how you know that. I get 87 unleaded in my car. Is that what? Oh, the guy's getting 87. He must be open-minded. But, you know, you, you engage. Yeah, be willing to talk politics, not religion, because that's for the crazy people. But be willing to talk politics. Be willing to state your opinion without, without, with, with no reservations. And uh, be willing to listen. And you'll find that if you do that, most people, most people, not all, but most, will engage you intellectually. And you know what was pretty cool? And you guys have heard me say this kind of stuff before. I mean, I don't know many strangers, right? Because I like talking to people. This guy and I actually, I mean, I actually felt a camaraderie with him. And, and like, uh, dude, we should go get a beer or something and hang out. Like, because we're having a good conversation and you seem like a pretty cool dude. And it's funny. The black and the white and, and all the stuff that goes on in the world, a lot of it's, a lot of it's economic. And I get that. Uh... And I get the racial tension. And I see what goes on in the world. But I'm going to tell you something right now. When you're at the gas station pumping your unlead at 87 and you have an opportunity to engage somebody in discussion, whether that opportunity is simply, hey, man, how you doing? Uh, do it. Do yourself a favor. My wife gets ticked off. Why you got to talk to everybody? You know why I got to talk to everybody? Because they may cut my tongue out one day. And if they cut my tongue out, I can't talk to anybody. So I talk to everybody, okay? And when you talk to everybody, you learn... We're all, we're, nobody's that different. Uh, we may have divergence in, in political thought and all that, but at the end of the day, we're just a couple of dudes pumping gas looking to talk a little smack. So don't be afraid to engage. That's that's my message of today's uh, rant, if this is a rant. And uh, yeah, you heard me. Don't be afraid to engage. Now, don't get engaged if you're not engaged. <laughs> that's a whole different thing. And that's a, that's a whole nother topic about now you're locked into a long-term what eventually becomes a disengagement. And that's, I'll get into that later on. Go back to some of my earlier videos and you'll see about embracing the hate. And not the kind of hate they're embracing on the streets right now, that's easy. I'm talking about the kind of hate you build over a 10, 15, 20 year marriage. Of course I'm kidding. I love you honey, I'm sorry.